In this lesson, we're gonna talk about search engine marketing 101. So what's your number one goal when you're marketing for search engines like Google? You wanna get in front of as many people as possible every single day. So they always say the money is in the list. The bigger your list, the bigger your business, right? So you wanna get in front of as many people every single day in order to start building your list. And the easiest way to do that is to blog because once you put the blog post up, it's out there and people can just find you at will, two in the morning, four in the morning, morning it doesn't even matter they can find you whenever they want and it's very much like door knocking or cold calling except for the fact that you can do it 24 hours a day and you don't have to expend any more physical energy to do it except for just when you're writing it the first time you put it out there and then everyone can find you from that point on so it's a great way to leverage your time your money your knowledge everything all into one package and it's a great way to show your local knowledge and your local expertise so before we jump into exactly what search engine marketing is, I want to back up for a second and I want to talk about the three ways that you can generate traffic online, okay? Because search engine marketing is just one out of the three ways. So first we have owned traffic, we have earned traffic, and we have paid traffic, okay? So owned is your blog, earned is social media, and paid would be like Facebook ads. So for this course, we're going to be focusing on the owned traffic. Okay, so what exactly is owned traffic? The medium is gonna be your website and the content is gonna be your blog posts. So how do you exactly generate leads with your website and your blog posts? So first and foremost, you have to get discovered. So how are you gonna do that? You're gonna create awesome, evergreen, long form blog posts that provide a ton of value. So the way that you do that is you will write a blog post to start off with. It could be something titled like moving to Phoenix or everything you need to know about living in Los Angeles, something like that, right? Where it's a pretty long blog post, maybe about a thousand words, and it's everything that anyone could ever need to know about your farm or your city or your neighborhood or your community. And this works because what happens is Google loves long form content. They wanna serve up the absolute best results for people that are searching for certain things online. So if you are the best result, then Google is going to naturally serve your blog post up, which is a great way for you to get discovered online. The next step in this whole process is that once you write your blog post, you need to optimize it for search engines. You need to make it friendly for Google. A lot of times people will write blog posts, but then they haven't done any keyword research. They haven't done their homework first. They're just writing off the top of their head, which is great if you're a free writer, but we're not doing this to write for fun. We're doing this for business, right? So the best way to do that for business is to search engine optimize, which is, stands for SEO. We're gonna SEO all of the blog posts, and that means you're going to help Google to find your blog posts and to like your blog posts so that that way they start serving you up more. The next step in the process is after you have written your blog post and after you have uh, optimized it for your search engines, then the search engines will actually rank your blog post in order of what it thinks is relevant. So I'm actually going to show you exactly throughout this course how you can help Google to make it think that your blog post is the most relevant because your blog post actually will be the most relevant. So we're gonna talk about that too. The next step in the process is that people go to Google and then they type in something online, right? So you've done this hundreds of thousands of times. You go to Google, you type in something online, and then Google sends you the results back. And that's exactly the last step in the process. The search engine will serve you up as the blog post for one of the answers that someone is Googling. So quick summary of how this all works. You write an amazing blog post. You make that blog post Google friendly so that Google likes it. Google will start to rank your blog post in order of, of relevancy, and then it'll start serving your blog posts up to people that would probably like it. And that's exactly how the whole process works. So throughout this course, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do to get your blog post towards the first page of the Google results for all of the local traffic that you're trying to reach. So always be closing. So your blog posts, what you're going to do is you're going to use them to generate all of this owned traffic. Okay. You're going to 
make blog posts so that people can find your website, they can find you. And there's lots and lots of benefits to blogging. It's not just getting discovered, but it also is going to boost your rankings for your website as a whole. So that when people actually Google your name, you pop up right away. So this is how you're going to do it. And I'm going to show you again throughout this course how it's going to work. So where you might get stuck. So search engine optimizing your blog posts, SEO. SEO is kind of a difficult thing to master, but I'm going to make this as simple as possible so that you understand 100% without a doubt. Every time that you write a blog post, you're going to be able to rank for any single keyword that you want moving forward. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I'm going to show you exactly what local keywords to go after and how to find words that you know that you can go after. And you can basically just start ranking as quickly as possible so that your website overall starts becoming more and more popular over time. Okay. So I will see you in the next lesson.